What's up guys, uh, Marvin and Kid Air back again. How's everybody doing on their end? Um, yeah, I got this, don't worry. Um, welcome back to another, uh, the next 30 day superhero challenge. I hope everybody is well. And thanks for everybody for coming through and continue to watch these and leave their comments and things like that. Um, have some, we've been having some great news coming out of the world for comics. Yesterday, as you all know, yesterday we were finally delivered. Uh, who is going to be She-Hulk? And once again, uh, shouts out to Miss uh, Mulanze, uh, Tatiana. You know, oh, just have fun with that role. So today on the Superhero Challenge, um, we are given the challenge for day number 18. 18th of the month we are favorite non super male supporting character I've always said this and I'll say it before you know you got to have good supporting characters as well to balance a heroes not as is just as needs to be just as good as their villains but also they need to be centered around a great supporting character and I told you guys yesterday I'd probably give you about a few uh, some of my favorite non-super male supporting characters in comics. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I think I, I said I was going to give you six. So, I think I'll give you six. So, I'm going to kick it off with uh, probably one of my favorite um, supporting characters. Uh, one of my favorite Spider-Man supporting characters. Uh, Joseph Robbie Robinson. Um, I've always loved Robbie um, a lot more than I love J.J. And that's saying a lot. And I think the reason why I've enjoyed um, Robbie so much is because of the respect that he has for both Peter and his alter ego, Spider-Man. It's not a case of he likes Spider-Man, but he doesn't like Peter. No, he has respect for both. And it's so cool to see the evolution of this character. Sure, he hasn't had a lot of... Uh, story arcs or solo stories that are centered around him there have been a couple there have been a few of course you know we all know he has a huge uh he has a huge history with uh tombstone which is legit um he's got a great son and things like that but and he now leads the bugle he runs the bugle not 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 jj he runs it um robbie has always been pretty much there for peter when peter needed him and I've always loved that about Robbie. He's he's like the he's definitely one of the fathers Peter never had. He definitely is, and I've always loved him for that. Um, next on the list, of course, is uh, Steve Trevor. You got to give it up to Steve Trevor. Steve is another one of those characters who he's a supporting character for a for a super heroine. You know, he's the supporting character. Usually, when we got a superhero comic. Or so it's always the a a a female as the the as the you know of course as the supporting character. But here we have Steve Trevor, and Steve has man he is running the test of time as well. It's like he he was here, and then they pushed him here, and then they evolved him even more. Hell, there was even one point where he was a part of the Justice League of America, you know, it was, it's crazy just to see how much Steve has evolved over the years, but he's always been looked at as not just a supporting character, but a true ally to Diana, and of course, yeah, there is a, a little bit of love there, there's love, he, you, you know, Steve does love Diana, um, and I'm sure, and I'm, I know she does too, but I, it's just a case of just you know, Steve Trevor is definitely one of those great supporting characters. He doesn't have superpowers, he's, but he's still good at what he does. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next on the list, um, of course, I have to go with Rick Jones. Um, Rick Jones, definitely, yes. I know some people say, but Chris, he has powers. Not anymore. He, he lost the power to turn the gate A-bomb a long time ago when the persona of the Hulk, Dr. Green, he started taking the, curing the gamma-powered characters in the Marvel Universe. He, he cured 
Rick, he cured, I think it, he cured Betty, uh, and I think, and also he cured, um, he cured his own son, Scar. Uh, but Rick, Rick has been around, Jesus. You talk about a character that's been around for years. He's, he was a sidekick to Steve Rogers. He was Captain Marvel at one point. Um, but he's always been linked to the Hulk. That one character, besides Betty Ross, he's been that one supporting character that's always been by Hulk's side. Always knows that there is good in the Hulk. And he's always been a, a character that personally... For me, I wanted to see on the big screen. We have never seen Rick Jones in any form, shape, or form in the in any Hulk movie, and that's sad because he is such a a legendary and long-standing character. You have to put them in there. I'm I'm just saying. Um, next on the list, of course, I gotta give it up. Gotta go a little bit of. You gotta go. Uh, you got to go this character, in my opinion, Casey Jones. Once again, not he doesn't have powers. Casey Jones is a character who fights by the turtle side, but his his he's got the street smarts and he's got all the different types of weapons that come with sports, bats, cricket <laughs> bats, uh, golf clubs, you know, things like that. Casey is another one, is one of those great um, turtle supporting characters that respects the turtles. You know, he loves them. You know, I, I truly think there is there is a there there is that kinship between the turtles and Casey as much as there's that kinship between the turtles and April, but it's on a different level because especially between Casey and Raph, you see it. You definitely see like there's like a brother mentality with there and you know I feel that Casey and Casey is just one of those characters that you can tell good stories about and there have been a lot of good spotlighted stories centered around Casey go read the IW uh, IDW series there have been several several stories that centered around Casey and you're just like man it just evolved the character even more now, in terms of live action, um, I've heard a lot of people say they didn't like Stephen Amell as Casey Jones. Um, I watched it once and I wasn't really a fan of it. You know, I'll always love, uh, I'm forgetting the actor who played uh, Casey in in the, the 90s movie. He always felt like Casey. You know, he felt more like Casey um, compared to Stephen Amell. I think... Just Stephen Amell just came off a little too nice as Casey Jones. I just didn't like it. I was like I said, I have no real love for those movies. I saw him once and I was like, I'm done. That that no, that's not for me. Uh, but Casey Jones is definitely a, a great non-powered male supporting character. And last but not least, I know I said seven, but I know I said six, but I gotta give it up to them because they these two guys also play a very good role in being supporting characters and they've also being so well that they actually got their own series spinoff out of it gotta go with Sam and Twitch Sam and Twitch from uh, Spawn universe from I you know Spawn they, these two cops they're the they're like the total opposite of each other you got Sam who is more of the the stereotyped fat, you know, <laughs> I don't mean it like that, but he, Sam is kind of a stereotype of the long veteran who gained weight over the years, working too many shifts, rugged, you know, that stereotype of a New York detective, while Sam is the total opposite. He's, he's kind of short, stock, short, build. He looks more like he should be working in a computer as a com he's a computer hacker or something like that, but he's very intelligent. He he's he's almost like the modern take of Sherlock Holmes, while Sam isn't so much Doctor Watson, but they make a good duo. Their their differences make such a well make them so well at each other. 
Um, and because of that, they got their own spinoff, you know, the Sam and Twitch comic. I don't know how long it ran. Um, correct me guys on that. I, I, I remember reading a few issues. I thought it was fun. But yeah, you know, Sam and Twitch definitely deserve some credit. You know, living, uh, dealing with, living in a world that has demons and monsters and, and a, a, a guy who is now back as a hell spawn. Yeah, you got to give him credit for what it is. Um, I wonder if there's, it does make me wonder. I am looking forward to seeing how, um, who's playing Twitch in the, the new Spawn movie? Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, God. I'm freaking, it's off the top of my, my tongue, too. Oh, the actor who played Hawkeye. God damn it. How am I forgetting this? Jeremy Renner. There you go. Jeremy Renner. Thank you, Malcolm. Uh, Jeremy Renner is playing Twitch uh, in the movie. So I'm, I'm wondering how that's going to play out. But got to give it to Sam and Twitch as well. So there you go, guys. I gave you basically seven, I, if you're counting it. Um, but I said I would give you a, a good amount. Those are some of my favorite... Uh, non-superpowered uh, male supporting characters. I gave you Robbie Robinson. I gave you, uh, I gave you Casey Jones. I gave you Steve Trevor. I gave you uh, Sam and Twitch, and I gave you Rick Jones. Um, you know, I could, I could give you more, but I don't want to be greedy. Uh, but of course, you know, characters like you know. Um, Jimmy Olsen definitely would be thrown up in there too. Jimmy's another character that's been around for years. But I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys got to say. Um, and looking forward to hearing some of the characters you like. Um, tomorrow, I will bring you favorite female supporting characters. Uh, Non-superpowered female characters. That will be the 19th of the day of the challenge. And once again, like I said... Uh, after that, day 20, which will be Sunday, I will be giving you favorite villain, my favorite villain team. So that's going to be really interesting. We are almost done with the 30 day superhero challenge. Um, I had a, I've been having a lot of fun uh, doing this, guys. And I'm glad to see that you guys have been participating in it as well. It means a lot. Um... You know, it means a lot because I told people I was going to do it. And people, you, you guys, the pack were saying, yeah, do it, do it, do it. You know, so here I am doing it for you guys. So don't say I don't do anything for you guys. Uh, I have. But uh, like I said before, those were some of my favorite non-superpowered male supporting characters in comics. Uh, you guys take care. Be easy. Peace and love. Stay tuned. Keep it real. Be safe, guys, as always. And I will see you guys next time. Deuces.